project. Um, a little bit of history, it was started by Colin, right there. Um, why the name, uh, for those of you who don't remember or don't know, it's my first presentation went so well. Um, it's cuter than QT, and it's safer than Python. So, um, so Koala is a safe sandbox programming environment for people who are beginning to learn a program with a really simple and easy to learn syntax. Uh, the point is to go to a URL be presented with an editor and just be able to start working on a project and type in code and, and learn really easily. Um, goals of Koala, create more programmers and most importantly instill open source values in them. And we do that by making every project um, specifically open source. So any user can go to some other user's project and edit the code and be added as a contributor. Um, and just to give you an idea of what it looks like can show you. So if I uh, uh, click on a project that I want to work on by Rotor235 and go to build on this project and just type something here, uh, save changes, a matter as a contributor. So that's how we do the open source stuff. Um, Syntax is uh, specifically really simple. Um, variables are put in boxes with square brackets. Um, then boxes can be used like that. New box equals boxes multiplied by boxes. Um, math functions are all the syntactically uh, exactly the same as English, so minus, plus, uh, multiplied by, divide by. Um, uh, yeah, just a little bit on functions. Uh, every file is its own function, so wherever you include uh, a file within another file, you will run the code. In that file, for example, ex1.k runs the code in ex2.k five times with that one right there. Um, so very simple syntax. Uh, the majority of my work was working on the website, specifically the back end, which looks like that. Users collaborate on projects. Um, projects. Uh, users can comment on the projects, and projects have a bunch of source files. So that's uh, mainly what the back end looks like. Um, browser compatibility, this is a big thing we're looking for, so that people with older browsers can uh, get started coding right away. Um, those are what it's been tested on, and I know it works for. So, uh, future plans, uh, we're looking for support for mobile browsers, so that we can port it to uh, an iPhone or iPad bookmark app, um, which looks like that at this point. Uh, things I learned from working on Koala, uh, I learned Ruby and Rails, 1,000 plus pages of reading on those. And uh, I learned Git, which I think was the most fun thing to learn because I'm going to use it a lot. It's the biggest like, life skill thing I learned from uh, ProGit, which is Creative Commons and online. So that's pretty cool. You should look it up. Check it out. Um, yep. Any questions? So yeah, the the, the back end is complete now. Yeah, it's ready to be It's calling at least today. Okay. Yep. So I'll be uh, picking up the integration with the front end. Okay. And it's ready in the fall. And it will be released by. Well, hopefully we'll have uh, something running within the fall. And your younger brother and uh, your grandfather will be using it. Of course. <laughs> so Nick is a freshman who is going to be a sophomore, so we have, uh, we have very few students of that, uh, I think. A couple of people, Jorel and uh, Matt are the two, so it's great to have a freshman contribute. Hope you learn something. Good, thanks.